Shakira, Shakira. Taliba, la shot was it safe? Ah, so he has to go away now. Here, shall I get in? What's the total boyfriend? Ah, Joe. Ha, so I'm going to go and get a hot pot. I'm Good morning, guys. Uh I'm trying to do a very minimal makeup look. I don't even think this is makeup, honestly. Uh, I'm just just trying to, you know, get myself together. Uh, made my husband food, got ready after gym. And I spoke to my sister on the phone. Um, I'm going to a lunch date with a friend of mine. I was actually meant to shoot content today, but it didn't work out because uh, this is a summer campaign and I was I wanted to shoot outside but I couldn't because it is raining so I have to change my whole concept and uh, figure out how I'm gonna shoot inside the house um, so I just you know I'm going to I just decided to go to a thingy what you call it a lunch date with my friend um, just right inside the estate i'm not going anywhere far but later on i might go to town because i have to go return my pants so i <sighs> i took my pants to the tailor he did a great job honestly but because the waist ratio to the hip ratio was so crazy he kind of tried to alter whatever that he could but like he made a big mistake by altering the, the not the crotch but like that line at the back so now it's skew and also it's a bit tight so i need him to loosen that and see how he can work around that but um yeah i'm just getting ready honestly i'm gonna get dressed and then i'm gonna wait for my husband because he went to town to go sorry <laughs> to go get uh something that i sent him in town for uh so uh oh guys my phone is going crazy Woo! my forehead my forehead guys i really want to get botox on my forehead hey like i've always had a wrinkly forehead like even in my baby pictures my forehead is 
is not cute so i really really think that as time goes on i'm going to in a few few months if i decide i'm probably going to get botox on my on my forehead because i'm bored but let me let me get dressed and then we'll talk when i get dressed i feel like my hair dye is like coming out and it's annoying me because one thing about me i want my hair to be black black I think I'm gonna have to dye my hair again. But I'm using this oil because my other oil isn't is on the other side and I'm definitely not going that side for oil. I'm just gonna put some oil on my hair before I brush it out. Also, I got a haircut guys. My hair is significantly shorter than what it was could have gone shorter my husband is here he's gonna shout at me that i'm not done is it him let me see it's him <laughs> he's gonna be like ah oh, baby Well, I am done. I feel like this mirror never does any justice for my outfits. But I'm currently wearing this from Poetry, this jersey, and these shoes. <laughs> back home <laughs> i literally had to wear this because it's so cold guys oh my god i literally spent like an hour and a half sitting on the what you call it by the fireplace because it's so cold also i am so intrigued about the submarine story i don't know if you guys are on TikTok, but apparently there's a submarine that's missing that went to go see the Titanic. I'm literally like this, like I'm literally <laughs> sitting there waiting for updates. Give us a blow by blow. Also, I watched, what do you call it? I watched Bridgerton actually, not Bridgerton, uh, Queen Charlotte for the hundredth time yesterday with my husband. And I still can't believe, oh, when I'm to healing, the day I when I catch you anyway I'm about to make pizza for my husband because uh, my husband really likes pizza actually it's like one of his favorite things to eat um, also this orange beanie looks so cute on me oh my god <laughs> I feel like this beanie looks so damn cute on me. Oh, I feel so cute. But anyway, I'm making my husband a bacon and feta and salami pizza. Um, 
I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go upstairs, wash my face and get into bed because I have no business being up like and out honestly because how about I'm so sad that I didn't get an um a picture for my outfit. Cause I feel like it was so cute, but Kiko Paliskawa mad at me when you see me wearing this outfit and even if I take pictures like Kang say wow like you've never seen it before because I kind of looked cute. I'm literally wearing that dress from Poetry. I'm, I just put over this this jersey over this turtleneck and this jersey uh, to make it seem like a skirt because that black skirt of mine from Poetry is not as long as I wanted it to be. And this dress is exactly how long I want it to be. I'm going to quickly fry the bacon because... I feel like if I don't fry the bacon, it won't it won't cook well because the pizza base is already um, what you call it the pizza base is already cooked if that makes sense. I'm not gonna fry it for long. I'm not gonna cook it for long. Also, get into this bacon, guys. This is um, bacon made with without added nitrates. So I think it decreases the chances of cancer. Uh, but yeah. I got, um, what do you call it? A cotton on. <laughs> My cotton on delivery, you guys. If I could tell you the story behind that cutting on delivery, you guys would be dead on the floor. Lol. Only me and one other person knows what, what happened. What is the reason behind that cutting on delivery? But son, oh, and my husband. Yeah. But, <laughs> guys, oh my God. A strong feeling that I'm gonna sleep with this beanie guys because oh my god it's so cold also like being a child is such a nice thing so we keep the heat on like for a long time in my kids room because I mean we don't want them to be cold <laughs> but they just don't care guys like <laughs> they don't care they're literally running around the house uh, 
they're not bothered like they're not worried about the cold is it me or kids don't get cold but i remember as a kid i never got cold guys i was like i was literally eating ice cream and it was like freezing also the lighting in this bathroom is crazy um it creates like this weird shadow on my face can someone tell me why i have pimples but we're going to remove my makeup with this first i'm gonna no actually yeah i'm gonna use this first um, then i'm gonna go in with my take the day off um, it's so cool oh my god also like we really are abusing our kids taking them to school in this cold like the schools are closing in a few days now i don't have to use my take the day off twice you know me and beyonce l'oreal girls or whatever <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a very gentle cleanser if you're looking for a gentle cleanser and you want to wash your face in the morning with something super gentle and your skin is dry if your skin is peeling especially now that it's winter get the the faces i make when i'm washing my face are ridiculous Before my face dries, This is so thick. I'm still gonna seal with this. Cause I feel like guys, it's so cold. And I wake up and my face, I, when I wake up, my face is so dry. So I feel like this will seal everything. Mm, my skin is supple. Let me just put on some, um, what you call it? Some lip gloss and go sleepies. I'm going to make some peppermint tea, then I'm gonna go sleep. But anyway, guys, let me put on some lip gloss. Gifunani, say give a good night. The first time we use retinol, guys, try to use as little as possible, if that makes sense. Don't use too much. It kind of stings. And retinol is so specific. It's good, but like, be careful. If that makes sense. It's like one of those actives that you shouldn't just, you know, It works though, like it's so good. But also do a lot of research and what products not to mix with retinol because your skin will break out and you'll think it's the retinol, but it's probably because you're just not using it in the right way. So, um, you need to know what ingredients not to mix with retinol. But I think I'll do like a little, I'll do a little post for you guys to tell you um, what you shouldn't mix. I'll do it on Instagram. Uh, ingredients that you shouldn't mix with retinol. I'll just do my research and post it for you guys. Ah! I was supposed to give these to my little kids, but now it's me wearing them. 
Oh, but this color looks so good on me, guys. Is orange my new color? Oh my god, I have never looked this bright. I don't think it's a bit of a bad neutral color acting like we're fashionable. But now I'm thinking, guys, is it me? It's making me look so bright and alive. Love it. Oh my god. Anyway, guys, good night. <laughs>
on uh, last week you know when i was with kungu i got this dress on that day uh let me show you this is the black denim skirts i feel like it's also becoming very popular on um what you call it on on instagram uh because i've seen a few girlies like buying them i got mine in a 16 uh let me just fit them on i actually i'm gonna have to pass by the tailor let me just fit it on for you guys guys this is the skirt shall i get a little one touch uh this is very long i still need to i generally need to uh tailor it so that it is like this but this is from cotton on when one thing about cotton on they snapped here with the skirt guys let me just stand here <laughs> can you guys see oh she's good this skirt oh my god shakira shakira this is a good denim skirt um imagine this with my sambas and like just a white top oh spring is gonna be lit but yeah i need to take this to the tailor because she he, he kind of fucked up my jeans but i feel like i feel like we can still fix it i honestly feel like we can still fix it but he kind of messed up my jeans badly i got so many things for my kids guys i don't even think i want to do a haul should i do a haul oh and also this i've got a onesie i got a onesie um i think in a size large hopefully it's not hopefully it's not big but i got a, a onesie from h&m she looks big. I mean, she's not big, but she's not as tight as I would have wanted to be. But yeah, I got this also from Cotton On. At Zara, guys, I actually didn't get anything serious. It was more for my kids because they go to school. And one thing about kids, oh my God, they will have holes on their knees. Like, their clothes will literally have holes on their knees. And I feel like, oh my God, kids, oh what are you thinking? If it's not urgent, don't have one, please. I mean, they're beautiful to have, and I still want more kids, but oh my god, if on a list of us, if you are a ticking time bomb, do not make a child. Don't do it. Like, literally, don't do it. I also got these. Poetry was also having like a 40% sale. I got the same pajamas but in white one thing about me guys i think i actually not actually i love viscose guys and i've always loved viscose for some odd reason like for me viscose is like such a superior fabric and as much as i like the satin pajamas uh that come in this style never mind i'm not wearing a bra i just feel like the satin ones like they snag on stuff and they you know like there's just too much drama that comes with the satin ones and i feel like the viscose ones are so much easier and especially for someone who's like me uh little things will bother me like if if i'm bored and i feel like i got that that behavior stems from spending too much time with my husband because i'm not one who gets bothered easily but i got these in a white but actually i'm i'm just noticing these are a large and they're quite like loose and i got these in an extra large oh i don't know how that's gonna work out but i got them from poetry they're on special and as a grown-up i'm working on um having good panties <laughs> having good underwear and also just having good pajamas because i feel like sometimes honestly like it just starts with how you're sleeping so i got these they always come with this nice thing so when you're traveling you can literally just pack your pajamas in here uh i'm not a sexy girl pajama if that makes sense especially in winter like I'm, i don't want to get too cold but I don't want to be cold at night, so I'm, I start sweating, and, 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 and it just becomes a drama. But I got these ones. Oh, these are huge. Oh, no, these are big. I'm not going to return them, though. But, like, fuck, these are big. These are quite big. I mean, they're not massive, but they're going to be very loose. But I got them in 
this white creamish with um, a green a green pi a green piping and also these ones have like a little cute embroidery thing happening here can you see this is so cute but I'm worried about the size but like who cares these ones are already popping here so I think I'm just gonna deal with the extra large I also am not in the mood to return stuff I don't even know where the heck is my thing what you call it my my slip also like what if i become fat does that mean i'm gonna have to buy pajamas again no i'll have these also do you get it like i must also think for myself not to say man's or meter guys because they're not i mean i will but i won't <laughs> does that make sense yeah uh, let me see what else is interesting. Or maybe let's let's do a little. Let's see, guys. Oh, my social calendar. My social calendar is so full. I don't even think you guys are gonna get this vlog. Give me easy. I have to meet up with Kim today. Remember, log in. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, I have to meet up with Kim, guys. Um, and this vlog needs to be up so. I don't even know if you guys are gonna get this vlog, honestly. Uh, cause my social calendar, also my husband's here. And I told you, like, if my husband is here, forget about me and vlogging. Also, my sister sent me some some stuff, guys. Can we all please bully my sister to come back? Because now she's sending me to go buy her stuff at the Zara sale when she could be here buying stuff at the Zara sale. So let's just do a quickly rundown of what I bought for my little babies at Zara. There is a very big plastic, but I just got some stuff. So I got Kumgani. This jersey, can you see it? This. Um, got this for Kumgani and I also got a blue one. This is from like the big boy section because now Gungani is a big boy and he kind of needs to wear stuff from the big boy section. And because they are foster guys, even though my kids are not actual twins, I kind of prefer dressing them the same. Uh, I also got this one from the little kids section for Biggie. It's very similar, but like it's the same style of jersey, but not the same, same. Got this one for Biggie. And I also got him a little blue one. Guys, also parents with Irish twins are so toxic. Because I feel like everyone who is like two years apart, they always get dressed the same. It's actually so weird. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I also got them these. These, I got them. They are fun. I got two of these, the green ones. Biggie had these. Uh very cute i also got blue ones let me show you uh this is the other green one what is the blue one uh, i'll show you the blue ones when i see them but i got picky a denim shirt because Kungani has one that's actually quite new. But the other day when he was wearing it picky was distraught like he was so he was crying in the morning like why don't i have this type of shirt like he was crying like crazy then i got kumgani some pair of jeans because it's so weird like at their school now they require them to wear jeans on some days and i'm just like oh kumgani doesn't wear jeans like that like why are we putting kids with jeans our kids are supposed to be running around then my husband picked this cool um Sweater for Kum, uh, sweatpants for Kumgani. What is it called? I don't know. He knows. Among Us. It's called Among Us. And then I also got this. Um, this is from the little boy section or little kids section. Um, what do you call this? Lion King. Yeah, this is a Lion King um, little tracksuit for for Piki. And I also got these. Cool pants. I think these are so cute. Ah, these were literally 200 Rand, guys. These are too cute. 
got these for Piggy. And then, oh, then I got them these pants, both of them. I was able to get both sizes. These are so, these are like cargoes. Oh, these are so cute. And also they stretch. So that means, luckily Kumkan is not gonna be wearing home clothes next year. He'll be wearing school uniform. So that's gonna save me a lot of money. Like that will save me a lot of money. Okay, this is for me. I got myself a cream denim that I think I'm actually gonna wear today. Also got picky these. <laughs> One thing about me, we'll buy our kids moccasins. And then, oh guys, I wanted to, these shoes. You know when you look at something and you're like, this is giving me someone. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But like these fit so well with Kumgani's personality. I feel like these are, like these, this is such a Kumgani shoe. And also guys, like Zara really sells kids shoes for kids. And if you don't want to buy like Brandon shoes for kids, I feel like Zara is the best option because you know, my kids always are wearing, my kids are always wearing Stan Smith and I've, they've been wearing them like since they were kids. I always buy a brand new pair of Stan Smith every year, but these ones guys, they did not last. When I say these shoes did not last, like if I show you how my kids Stan Smiths look right now. I'm just like, I ain't buying no stats with anymore. I'm gonna go to Zara and find shoes that my kids will wear to school. And then I also got them, I got Biki these. These are very much like Biki, they are funny. Like, they funny now, yeah. Like, these are so cute. I feel like this is such a Biki shoe. I got him that. Uh, this is my stuff. And then, also, oh yeah, I got. Oh, these are black they look blue in store uh this is the same one as the green ones guys i'm buying these things honestly for school because yeah guys like one thing about kids especially now that it's super cold like you will feel bad for them if like indoors are basically right and i also got these cute shorts i feel like these shorts are so cute i got them i got these shorts because i'm just like it's gonna be summer anytime soon i also got some summer stuff let me show you there's more stuff if you haven't gone to the zara sale actually go like go i'm gonna try by my all means to get this vlog up on sunday so that you can rush the zara sale because i mean this is so cute this is like a white this is very much like my kids. My kids wear this all the time. They have these in so many different colors. Uh, I got one, and also also these will be so be, will be so good in the transitional period because they don't need to wear like jackets, but they they still need jerseys, and these are so good. And I also went a size up this time because I'm just like, y'all better be wearing these next year. And then I got them these cute nautical stripe. Because, guys, one thing about me, my kids will always have this. Like, And I also got them these white ones. Probably will wear them on Christmas because, you know, I'm like, this is, yeah, this is it. What else did we get? Okay, some of the stuff is just like basic stuff from Unique. I got, I got like long sleeves from Unique. And what? What else did I get? But yeah, like nothing serious, honestly. But it was just like, we need to replenish for them. When they go back to school, they have some stuff because I'm a dolo. They were pale, like they were literally finished. So yeah, that's it regarding the kids. Um, uh, What else do I need to show you? I'll show you the kitchen stuff that I bought from Poetry um, in my other vlog. And also, maybe I can also show you my stuff that I bought, that I bought, oh my god, that I bought in my other vlog, because now it's going to get so much, like I've been spending so much time showing you stuff. Also, it's like 12, I need to be in Waterfront at 2, so let me get busy and get ready. Same girl, different outfit, ah, same girl, same outfit. 
just different pieces. I don't know what I want to do with this jersey. My husband says I'm in my keep sweet era. <laughs> I'm in my mom and girl era, I guess, Anna. And you know what? It's cold. That's This is where I'm going to be. Also wearing my sambas, guys. I feel like I need new socks. But um, we're going to work with this for now. I'm going to carry my coach, Tabby. Also, Kim, if you're watching this, my husband is the one that made me late. But anyway, let's go. Got three 